Hi, my name is Justin Kay. I'm a field specialist in horticulture with MU Extension, and I'm here today with Barry Eschenbrenner. Barry is the Senior Farm Manager at HARC, or the Horticulture and Agroforestry Research Center. So we like to highlight our different farms within the university system and different research projects going on. So uh, I'd like to thank you for being with us today, Barry. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So folks might have heard about HARC or heard about the Horticulture and Agroforestry Research Center. What's the purpose and the mission of HARC? Well, I think like, you know, all the research farms, it's, it's, to, it's to facilitate the professors doing their research on campus. And plus we have an outreach to, to the citizens of our state. So that would probably, to sum it up, that would be the main reason, you know, that we're here. It's for, it's for the people of our state. Awesome. And so I know you guys have done a ton of research over the years, but, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of past research on specialty crops has, has done, been done at HARC? Maybe things recently or highlights over the years? Okay. Well, a, a lot of the research that we do here, it, unlike the other farms where you'll be a one-year crop, our stuff will go on for years and years because it's, it's trees or fruit crops, some stuff like that. So once something starts here, it, it could last easily 20 years. It takes that long for like pecan trees, for example. Our pecans, we have somewhere in the neighborhood, I'm thinking of 20 plus acres of pecans. So those trees have been in the ground 15 plus years. And I would imagine that in 15 years from now, we'll still be harvesting pecans from, from that. So it's not, it's not a, a corn crop and then harvested in the fall kind of a farm. Uh, yeah. As far as things that we have here at Hark, and I'm just going to kind of go off the top of my head, but we've got apples, grapes, peaches, uh, blackberries, watermelon, tomato, elderberries, and pawpaw. That's kind of our horticultural crops, I'd call it. And our, our tree crops would be uh, chestnuts, pecans, uh, walnuts, and we we have a few oak trees that we of course we don't really sell the acorns to eat, but they are they're used for um, other things as far as you know attracting deer. For you know we we'll sell uh, we do a we do a deal with Forest Keeling Nursery, which is over Ellsbury, and they get uh, acorns off of these uh, swamp white oaks, and these white oak trees produce acorns faster and every year. So a guy would plant some of these trees near a deer stand, for example. That's, okay. that's how the trees are sold. We okay. do stuff like that, unlike the other farms. For so it sounds like there's a lot of research going on and there's a lot of research that's ongoing for multiple years or even decades yeah. at that. Exactly, exactly, cool. yes. Yeah, yeah and I, I learned recently that there will be uh, some kind of pawpaw production guide that will be coming out, I guess, maybe early next year as a result of some of the research done at HARC. That is right. Yes, uh, we do. But and a lot of that is going to probably, you know, I, I would say Patrick Byers down in Southwest Missouri. He is the, you know, he's kind of like the go to guy for that stuff. We the have pop -pop, pop trees here, but yes, uh, <laughs> we just have some. Let's just put it that way. I, I was kind of poking around on your guys website. I noticed that there was also some research going on related to morel mushroom production and maybe even truffle production. That that is something that has the, the the truffles has ended. That was tried. Uh, some raised beds were made back on a ridge which overlooks the Missouri River, uh, but it, it never did. It, it didn't produce anything. Yeah. Now, as far as other mushrooms that you would grow here in Missouri, we do have workshops that are put on and they're very well attended. The Center for Agroforestry, who we're really tied in with on this farm. Uh, they hold those things and people will come here for workshops. So it's, especially before COVID, it was a really popular thing. And I look for us to do more of that in the future. And so where are you guys located exactly? Uh, we would be in New Franklin, Missouri, which I, I usually say, okay, we're across the Missouri River from Boonville. Boonville is on Interstate 70, about probably 30 miles west of Columbia. So we can... We are just, as you would cross the river, of course, you're in the river bottoms and you climb a hill and here's where we are. So we sit on a hill overlooking the Missouri River bottoms and we can see the town of Boonville, right, right in the center part of Missouri. 
probably 40 miles from campus. So it sounds like you guys have had lots of field days in the past and we'll probably have some in the future. How can people find out more info and kind of stay connected to all the things that are going on with agroforestry research and at HARC? Well, we've, we've got a website. And it's uh, I, I can give you that if you'd like it. It's HTTPS semicolon double slash hark dot Missouri dot edu. That's our website. And Facebook is easier. It's Mizzou Hark. And we also have a YouTube channel. And that is Mizzou Agroforestry. Like I said, we're really tied in with the Center for Agroforestry on so many things that we do here that. It's, it's kind of a, we have a really great partnership with them. That and we'll include uh, all those links in the YouTube description video. So our viewers and subscribers can check those out. Well, I really appreciate your time with us today, Barry. And thanks for giving us a little bit more information about HARC and some of the great research that's going on uh, in partnership with the Agroforestry Research Center. No problem, Justin. Thanks. And just I'd end it by saying that the farm is always open and we love having visitors. You're always welcome here to uh, what we'll show you around if you're in central Missouri. We really appreciate that, Barry. Thank you for your time. Well, see you later.